would have imagined in those pioneering days of motor racing just how far and wide the love of speed and competition would spread. From Brands Hatch to Jerez to Valencia, the European Grand Prix has made its home all across the continent. And now a new era of this storied race brings us here to the edge of the Caspian Sea. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. Anthony Davidson joins me today as we look ahead to something just a little bit different. It's quite high speed for a street circuit here, isn't it? Do you think that's going to throw up any unexpected situations? Well, as long as the teams can keep everything cool, I don't foresee any particular big issues from a technical side of things. I do expect the track to be quite slippery, though. We've not exactly had much chance to rubber in the surface. Any street circuit also comes with its own challenges, so I think we'll be seeing a few mistakes here and there. The smart strategy would be to expect a safety car, I think, especially early on when the pack is bunched up. We need a good result today to cement your number one status. If we continue to underperform, we might lose it. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. It's Renault in pole position then, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Rosberg, Raikkonen, Max Verstappen and Bottas. Vettel.
So, another excellent win from Ferrari. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? The difference was clearly in the strategy. You could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimise each stint and get the most out of the tyres. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. Um, but credit to the driver as well, though. There's no good having a well-oiled machine behind the scenes without a talented hound on the wheel, of course. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Nico Rosberg takes over the lead of the driver's championship after that excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day then. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? I'm giving driver of the day to Rio Harriento. He's pushed and pushed and he's found some fantastic performance. He was an absolute pleasure to watch today. And now let's take a look at the constructor's standings. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. 